hello everyone uh, welcome back to my channel uh, my today video recording is related to the 802.1 q vlan creation and then inter vlan routing in normal modes we call the same technology as a svi switch virtual interface so let me explain you first uh, as far as you can see in my diagram that I have some uh, IP devices that is connected to port number 21, 22 and 23. The device which is connected to port 21 is a part of VLAN 10 and the device which is connected to uh, port number 22 we will make it as a part of VLAN 20 and the one that device which is connected to port number uh, 23 we will make it as part of uh, VLAN 30. So I have one more uh, testing PC which is connected to port number 24. We will make it as a part of VLAN 10 and we will try to ping the VLAN 20 devices and VLAN 30 devices. And what I will do beside this, I will uh, create uh, three VLANs and then I will set the mode as a switch port mode as a axis and then I will follow the inter VLAN routing for the VLAN interface, the SVI IP addresses as I mentioned on the left side for the VLAN 10 is 10.254, 10 20.254 and 30.254 Okay guys, so let's proceed uh, for the configuration of the today agenda so here is the login page as you can see uh, my management port I am connected to out of band management port and my username is admin and admin password the default and I am using DXS 3424 SC you can follow the same scenario for DGS 3630 and uh, DGS 3130 and DGS 1510 you can follow the same scenarios so uh, for the configuration you have to go to um, layer 2 features VLAN and then under the 802.1q you can see there is no more VLAN here so what you can do you can just directly go to the VLAN interface and under the VLAN interface you can just uh, click on edit and I will make the mode as access and I will make port number 21 part of VLAN 10 apply then I will go to port number 22 and I will make switch port mode access and I will make it uh, part of VLAN 20 apply and then I will make another VLAN port number 23 port mode as access and I will make it as a part of VLAN 30 apply and for the demo purpose I'm using one PC with the IP address of 10.70. I will show you this IP address and I will make this PC as a part of VLAN 10 uh, and the port number is 24. It's not 21. It's 24. So I will make uh, port number 24 as a part of uh, I will save this apply and then I will make port number 24 as a part of VLAN 10. Okay, apply success and I will show you the port summary as you can see port number 21 is a part of VLAN 10 22 is part of VLAN 20 port number 23 is a part of VLAN 30 and port number 24 is a part of VLAN 10 okay and under the 802.1q as you can see there are three different VLAN created and as you can see the port number 21 and 24 is a part of VLAN 10 and rest of the port like 22 and 23 are in the desired VLANs so now uh, we will verify this how we can verify that uh, first of all I will show you my IP address the IP address that I'm running on my my source PC it, which is uh, you can see it is 10.70 okay and I have one device uh, which is connected to uh, port number 21 okay uh, for the device which is connected to port number 21 the IP address is 10.10 .10. so let's ping ping uh, minus ping 192.168.10.10 as you can see I can ping uh, my desired VLAN and the desired IP device in the layer 2 VLAN but if I change the IP to a different uh, uh, 
IP device which is connected to the port number 20 as you can see I am not able to ping because I am in VLAN 10 and I am trying to ping the device which is in VLAN 20 okay and as you can see I will follow the same steps for uh, VLAN 30 this IP address I will also not be able to ping because it's in VLAN 30 and my source PC is in VLAN 10 so le let's uh, proceed for the inter VLAN routing so for the inter VLAN routing you have to expand layer 3 features and under the layer 3 feature you have to go to interfaces and IPv4 in my case I'm using IPv4 and I will create a interface VLAN for uh, VLAN 10 apply and then I will create a interface VLAN 20 and then I will create interface VLAN 30 apply as you can see I have uh, three different uh, SVI created now I will click on the edit under the edit I am going to assign the same IP schema that I mentioned here so for VLAN 10 I am going to use uh, 192.168.10.254 and subnet mask is 255.255.0 apply I will, I will go back as you can see the IP address is assigned I will apply the desired configuration for VLAN 20 168.20.254 and I will uh, make it 255.255.255.0 apply back and I will apply the desired configuration for the VLAN 30 168.30.254 255.255.255.0 apply ok and back so as you can see I have three different SVIs with three different IP address so as you can see now I am in VLAN 10 my source PC according to the diagram is in VLAN 10 so I have to apply the gateway this SVI IP address for VLAN 10 will be acting as my gateway so let's set the gateway on the PC first as you can see my IP is 10.70 192.168.10.254 this IP address will be my gateway as you can see I receive a notification yes I will close minimize and now let's ping first let me ping my physical IP which is 10.70 I can ping myself now I will ping my gateway like uh, no I will ping my host which is connected to port number 21 I am able to ping now I will ping my gateway I can reach to my gateway now now there is one more verification our concern was to create inter VLAN routing that my PC is in VLAN 10 and I must uh, I should be able to ping the VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 devices so let's verify the ping uh, the IP address for the devices is 20.20 let me check the end host first it is alive or not let me hold on uh, okay guys let's verify the configuration that we have done actually the end host uh, the IP devices which it was connected to port number 21 and 22 uh, it was not configured with the IP settings so what I have done I just only assigned the IP addresses to the uh, desired uh, computers which is connected to VLAN 10 20 and 30 so let's verify the connectivity by using the ping command uh, first of all let me show you that uh, I don't have any extra configuration as you can see uh, I have uh, I am in VLAN 10 with a gateway of 10.254 and I have this another NIC card which is uh, part of uh, my management uh, uh, subnet 
so I haven't done any uh, specific configuration on my computer so let's verify the ping uh, 192.168.10.10 uh, 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 I'm in VLAN 10 uh, as I can show you again that uh, uh, as you can see uh, it's, it's the same configuration uh, 10, 20 and 30 I haven't done anything on the switch uh, and this is the VLAN interfaces as you can see 10, 20 and 30 my PC is connected to port number 24 which is part of VLAN 10 so let's verify the configuration uh, I should uh, I must ping my uh, source PC mean my local IP address I must have to ping that to verify that uh, my cable is okay I can ping I have one device which is connected in VLAN 10 port number 21 that I can ping and I can ping my gateway okay now next uh, I must be able to ping the device which is connected to uh, port number 22 which is in VLAN 10 VLAN 20 and must be able to ping the device which is connected in VLAN 30 so let's verify the connectivity that I am able to ping my VLAN 20 gateway or not as you can see I can ping now let's verify the gateway for VLAN uh, 30 as you can see I can ping the VLAN 30 gateway as well so let's verify the ping uh, to 20.20 .20 .20 device which is part of VLAN 20 uh, connected on port number 22 as you can see I can ping okay and let's verify the ping connectivity to the device which is connected to uh, port number 23 and uh, this IP device is a part of uh, VLAN 30 okay guys as you can see I am able to ping so it's mean that over inter VLAN routing our uh, uh, SVI is properly configured you can follow the same configuration by using D-Link DXS 3400 device, 5000 series device, 3600 series device, 3130 series device and also you can use uh, 1510 uh, DGS 1510 which is also light L3 uh, base switch you can follow the same configuration without any problem and if you are doing uh, uh, if you are using any layer 2 type of switch you cannot create SV on that definitely for inter VLAN routing using layer 2 switch you must need a layer 3 device so in my case I use the uh, layer 3 device ok guys uh, thank you for watching my videos please kindly like and subscribe to my channel and must comment if you have any questions thank you very much